Jesus All our sins and griefs to bear Beginning from the 2nd of July We're praying the Saranda Novena and I'm sure for many of you This is a new novena that you're going to pray So I just want to share with you some thoughts about this novena The Saranda Novena this novena was revealed to Don Dolindo Rotolo by Jesus. Don Dolindo lived from 1882 to 1970 in Naples, Italy. He's also known as Mary's Little Old Man. He's a contemporary and a friend of Padre Pio. And this novena, like all others, have received a lot of testimonies. Testimonies of miraculous healing. Testimonies that would make you fall in love with this novena. Tuberculosis healed, limbs made well, suicide attempts stopped, you name it. So many people who have had recourse to the surrender novena have experienced the fruits of learning how to surrender their daily lives into the hands of Jesus. You recall his words, Come to me, all you who labor and find life burning so, and I will give you rest. There is one aspect of this novena that I want you to pay attention to. That is the words for each day. Because these words, as they come to us, will challenge sometimes the presuppositions that we hold. For instance, in day one, we are told, Why do you confuse yourselves by worrying? Leave the care of your affairs to me and everything peaceful. Then when you come to day two, we'll be challenged that surrender to me does not mean to fret, to be upset, or to lose hope. Nor does it mean offering to me a worried prayer, asking me to follow you and change your worry into prayer. It is against the surrender, deeply against it, to worry, to be nervous, and to desire to think about the consequence of anything. If you come to day three, how many things do I do when the soul in so much spiritual and material returns to me, looks at me and says, you take care of it, then close its eyes and rest. In pain, you pray for me to act, but that I act in the way you want. You do not turn to me, instead you want me to adapt to ideas. You are not the sick people who go to the doctor and ask to be cured. I rather seek people who tell the doctor how to do. So you see that every day the reflection will challenge you as what it means to surrender into the hands of Jesus. So pay attention and let these prayers also purify your thoughts, even as you bring your daily concerns to Jesus. Remember the words of the song, What a Friend We Have in Jesus. So what a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pain we bear. All because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. So I pray with you that as we surrender to Jesus through this surrender novena, we will let go of everything. And every day we will pray, Oh, Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. We'll say this prayer ten times every day. Oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. May every word you utter come from the depths of your soul. And may you mean every word you say. Oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. And trust me, God will take care of everything. 
So as we pray this novena, as we surrender to Jesus, may he in turn take up our concerns, take up our worries, take up our circumstances, and give us a reason to always surrender to him. I wish you all a fruitful novena. Remain blessed in the Lord. May the mighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We will find a solace there. And you will find a solace there.